Hello everybody and welcome to my video for the Nerve List. So what I'm gonna do is I um, just cut open one of those little page protectors. So I'm going to put my book pages in the page protector so it slides right on. And I'm just gonna use a whiteboard marker to um, mark the nerves as I go through the Nerve List. Um, and so this actually might be something that you could do um, on your own if you wanted to practice labeling or identifying things um, in your textbook without actually having to write on the pages, which is kind of nice. So I don't have a hard copy of the um, nerve list to show you, so hopefully you have that to look at. So the first thing that you need to know are your nerve plexuses. So it just says name the plexuses and the spinal nerve roots that make up each plexus. So really it is just, you need to know that cervical plexus is C1 through C5, brachial plexus is C5 to T1, uh, lumbar plexus is T12 to L4, and I think your lab manual says L1 to L4. I'm okay with the, the boundaries are a little bit a gray area sometimes. So T12 to L4, L1 to L4, either of those are fine. And then uh, your sacral plexus is L4 to S4. That's all you need to know for that first box of the nerve list, your plexus um, nerve roots and what their names are. And then just know that there is no plexus for the thoracic um, nerves there. So we just have cervical, brachial, lumbar, and sacral plexus. All right, um, then the rest of your nerve list on the rest of that page is the instructions say know the name, location, and distribution of the following nerves. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go through is identifying the nerves and then just a quick description of that distribution or innervation. Um, for this particular picture, um, before it breaks down into the individual um, body regions, we can identify some of the nerves that are on your list. Now I might um, zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Um, just so we can see, going through the nerve list, let's see which ones from the nerve list we can identify on this kind of full body picture. So the first one is the lesser occipital nerve, and that's just shown right here. Okay, you'll see it's gonna be heading up into the, um, kind of outside the occipital bone. The phrenic nerve, is this one right here. It's gonna be heading down towards the lungs, the diaphragm more specifically. Supraclavicular uh, right here is gonna head over and it will kind of overlies your clavicle. We'll see the, the details of that one um, when we get to the blow up picture of the neck. Um, greater auricular is gonna be heading up here towards the ear. And uh, I think those are the main ones of the head and the neck area. Then we move into the axillary. So axillary is this one right here. Okay, kind of branches a little bit. Then we have uh, the median nerve is this large one that goes right kind of in the middle of your arm. So that's kind of nice median. Musculocutaneous comes around here, kind of uh, loops behind that axillary nerve and comes down um, this direction, musculocutaneous. Um, and then the ulnar nerve, as its name implies, is gonna run alongside the inner surface of your arm, like where your ulna would be. And then the radial nerve, again, as its name implies, is gonna come out here on the radial side, the more lateral side, okay? Um, so those are the major nerves of the brachial plexus, kind of moving down our list. Um, we don't have on this picture, I'm just going through the list that I have on my screen, we don't have the pectoral nerves. The thoracic nerves are just these guys here. They're all of the, these nerves that don't form a plexus. Those are called the thoracic. Sometimes they might be referred to as the intercostal nerves. Um, that's fine. As we move down here, um, iliohypogastric is our first nerve here in this lumbar plexus. It's this guy right here, just a little branch off of that plexus. Um, genitofemoral, genitofemoral is right here, kind of curves around and does a little branch there. Lateral femoral cutaneous is this branch kind of out here, going on the side hip 
and then it just stays um, close to the surface. So that cutaneous word will be a clue that that's going to one the one going to be found close to the surface of the skin. Um, and then we have our femoral nerve, which is this nice big one here, it branches into lots of smaller uh, leads off of that. Um, and then we have the saphenous which I don't think is, oh, here it is. It's this big kind of long skinny one that branches off of that femoral nerve. All right, moving down, we have the gluteal nerves, um, superior and inferior. Gluteal nerves, doo -doo 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 -doo. They're just showing tiny little kind of nubs coming off of that larger nerve. We'll see that in more detail when we zoom in on the leg and the hip area. Um, and then our sciatic nerve is the big one. Some of you may have an issue with your sciatic nerve. So that's a big branch that runs down the back of your leg. Um, and we do not have the tib tibial and fibular nerves um, listed on this picture because they're a little bit lower in the body. So we'll stop there. This will be our kind of overview. We identified Right, we identified the plexuses, and then on this picture, we identified the major nerves that are associated with those plexuses. Now I'm going to make some um, individual kind of shorter videos that goes along with um, the specific region. So like the head and the neck and the arm and the lumbar and the sacral area. Okay, I'll see you next time.